Hello, I am Dr. Nayan. You are watching Biodesk. Today, in this video, we shall discuss the classification of superclass Pisces. Pisces is the group of all true fishes. This group has been divided into three main classes. They are Placodermy, Chondrichthys, and Osteichthys. Placodermy includes all extinct fishes. Example, Climatius. Placodermy group is now extinct. However, superclass Pisces now represented by two living group of fishes. These are Chondrichthys, including cartilaginous fishes, and Osteichthys. These are bony fishes. Bony fishes includes Levio, which is a freshwater fish. Our cartilaginous fishes include Scoliodon, the dogfish, the member of shark, that is a marine fish. We shall see the important features of these two different groups here. Class Chondrichthys. These are all marine and cartilaginous fish. Cartilaginous fish, the name because they have cartilaginous endoskeleton. Remember, bone and cartilage are a skeletal connective tissue. So, cartilage, the soft bony material. Chondrichthys includes all marine fishes and they are all cartilaginous. Skin covered with minute black white scales. So, very small black white scales are overlapping scales in their skin. Mouth and nostrils are ventral on the lower side. Five to seven pairs of gill slits found in them which are not covered with operculum. So in cartilaginous fishes, gill slits can be seen from outside and these are not covered by a gill cover. Gill cover, also called operculum, found in bony fishes. So cartilaginous fishes or the class chondrichthys includes fishes with no gill cover. In cartilaginous fishes, air bladder is absent. Air bladder is also called swim bladder. This is an air-filled balloon-like structure present inside the body of bony fishes. Here, air bladder or swim bladder is not found. In these fishes, intestine bears a spiral valve. A spiral valve is a spirally coiled infolding of the inner wall in intestine, increasing the surface area for the digestion and absorption of food materials. Here, a spiral valves present inside the intestine. The males bear claspers. What are claspers? We can see the inner margin of pelvic fin. In sharks or cartilaginous fishes, the inner margin of pelvic fish bears an elongated cylindrical organ. This is copulatory organ of the fish found in males only. Intermittent organ that helps in transfer of male gametes during fertilization or copulation, mating. So these claspers are found in males only and this feature makes the sexual dimorphism distinct. So here males are with claspers which are absent in females. Fertilization is internal, taking place inside the body due to presence of claspers in males. They are oviparous or ovoviviparous. Remember, oviparous means egg laying, and ovoviviparous is a condition in which the ova develop inside the body of the parents. So, real oviparous looking like viviparous. This condition is called ovoviviparous. So, sharks produce their babies live. The eggs develop inside the body of the parents. Examples of cartilaginous fishes are 
Scolodon, Torpedo, Chimera, etc. Next one, class Osteichthyes. Osteichthyes is the group of bony fishes, and in this group, the fishes are found in both freshwater and marine. So, Osteichthyes group includes freshwater and marine fishes both. In them, the endoskeleton is mostly bony. Bony means made up of bone-like substance, made up of bones. So, endoskeleton made up of bones. One exception is their sturgeon. A skin usually covered with scales, but in bony fishes, placoid scales are absent. The scales are of different types: cycloid, tenoid, but placoid scales absent in bony fishes. This is one of the characteristic feature. Gill slits are covered by operculum. Operculum is the name for gill cover. So gill cover present in bony fishes, and gills lie inside. Here, gill cover present. Remember, in cartilaginous fishes, gill cover absent. Air bladder is present. In bony fishes, the air bladder or swim bladder is an air-filled balloon-like structure inside the body. So, inbuilt balloon. And by regulating the amount of air, fishes can swim at different levels. So, air bladder is present in bony fishes, but here a spiral valves absent in the intestine. A spiral valves are present in cartilaginous fishes. Males are without claspers. Claspers are absent in bony fishes, and that's why fertilization is external, taking place outside the body of the parents in water. They are all oviparous, laying eggs. Examples of bony fishes include seahorse, scientific name Hippocampus, flying fish is a bony fish, scientific name Ixocetus, tetrodon. Diadon, carps, the labio, sirhina, freshwater carps, lung fishes, these are all bony fishes, class Osteichthyes. Thus, we see there are distinct differences between the members of class Condichthyes and class Osteichthyes. So, have a look in comparative way. Differences are often asked in exam. The chondric thighs and ostic thighs differ in different features. We have just seen the members of these groups are commonly called cartilaginous fish in case of chondric thighs and bony fish in ostic thighs. Chondric thighs or cartilaginous fishes are all marine. However, bony fishes may be freshwater, may be marine. So found in both the habitats. Endoskeleton. The internal skeletal material is made up of cartilage in cartilaginous fishes and made up of bones in bony fish. In cartilaginous fish, placoid scale present, but placoid scales absent in bony fishes. Gill cover or operculum absent in chondric thighs, present in ostic thighs. Swim bladder also absent in cartilaginous fishes, present in bony fishes. And the claspers, the intermittent organs, copulatory organs, the structures, these are present in male cartilaginous fishes, absent in male or female bony fishes. And fertilization in cartilaginous fishes, mostly internal, in bony fishes, external. From breeding point of view, we can say cartilaginous fishes are ovoviviparous, while Bony fishes are all oviparous. Examples of cartilaginous fishes, shark, electric fish. And the examples of bony fishes, labio, the common roe fish, and seahorse. This is all about the general features of different groups under superclass species. And we have seen the comparative features of bony fishes and cartilaginous fish also. In our next video, we shall discuss 
the other classes of subphylum vertebrata. So stay tuned for upcoming videos. Thank you.